Hello guys and gals, this is Shane Kesey here with Street Volkswagen in Amarillo, Texas for another episode of Leasing with Kesey. Today's objection I want to talk about is the fact that a lot of people will come to me and say, yeah, I like the idea of leasing, I like the idea of saving money, but I don't want to have payments forever. That's a great objection. Let me explain to you how this works. The benefits of leasing is the amount of money you save per month versus a purchase. The Dallas Morning News years ago did a story on the benefits of leasing. What they stated was if you were to lease your next four cars, you could take the money you save in car payments and purchase your fifth car outright and own it free and clear pretty strong. Let me show you how that works. On our example that we had before, we're at $483 on the purchase or $375 on the lease. It's $108 a month for 48 months, which is $5,184. You multiply that by four, which is your next four cars, you're looking at $20,736. Now, you add interest to that, you're probably going to be well over this $25,000 to $30,000. This is probably a minimum. Take a look at that. If you could save twenty-five dollars to $30,000, put it aside over the next 16 years, of course, you could pay cash for your car and own a brand new car outright without having to worry about it. Remember, vehicles are depreciating assets, and with the lease, you're only paying for depreciation. Now, this brings me to a point. I have a friend of mine that I went to school with in college, and he purchased a cash car. I, on the other hand, had a low payment on a new car. My payment was probably about $250. And the thing about it was, keep in mind, that was quite some time ago. But with my car, I had a brand new car under full warranty, had no issues with it. Always started when I turned the key, everything was perfect. Now my friend on the other hand had bought a cash car for a couple thousand dollars, a fixer upper. He was spending a whole lot of money trying to keep that car running. Many times he'd have to call me up and have me give him a ride to work. So let's take a look at what that cash card to save money is doing for you. Keep in mind it's a depreciating asset. So with a cash card, you could be spending anywhere from $350 to $400 if you have to replace the air conditioner, or even more than that. The transmission goes out, you're in the hole for $1,500 to $3,500. Engine, $2,000 to $5,000. And tires, you have to replace tires, you're looking for $400 to $1,000. Now, the thing about this is none of this adds up to an asset. All it does is maintain that car on the road. So you're not actually investing that money into a car. All you're doing is keeping that depreciating asset afloat. So keep in mind, yes, I understand you'll be making payments for quite some time, whether you purchase or lease a car. And a lot of people who purchase think that they're going to own the car outright, but circumstances change, lifestyles change, and we end up trading that car out before we ever pay it off. So keep in mind with leasing, you can save up enough money over the next several leases to pay cash for your car and own it outright. This is Shane Giese with Street Volkswagen in Amarillo, Texas. If you have any questions or comments, either give me a call or just leave comments in the comment section. Have a great day.